All right, let's take a look at how things are shaping up in your world today. We had some showers and thunderstorms occasionally pop through. That cold front took its own sweet time pulling through the area yesterday. We had uh, some patchy clouds and, and some thunderstorms that got quite heavy across our eastern areas and we'll let this reset and you get a better view. But they popped up along the front and they kind of raced eastward, uh, putting down quite a bit of lightning and even threatened to bring some hail and rain across part of the region. It rained very hard for a short time and then it moved on. The eastern part of the state caught the brunt of it. Several tornado warnings in and around the Raleigh metro area and uh, things have certainly settled down since then. So we're looking at uh, very low dew points this morning. This is more like a September October air really in place when it starts to dry out. We get these bursts of drier Canadian air that get on the move in the fall and the spring seasons, uh, bringing the dew points down. So this won't be a permanent fixture. There are actually going to humidity is going to start to creep up pretty quickly this week, but it's allowing temperatures to cool dramatically this morning. Uh, we're at 49 degrees currently at PTI Airport, 44 from Boone to Galax this morning. I got a few 50s on the map, especially in the foothills. And across the western Piedmont, a little bit milder there, 50 to 51 degrees for Winston-Salem, Mount Airy, and 50 in Burlington early. But this is a drop in temperature, about 10 to 20 degrees from where we were with the uh, the high dew points that were still in place before the dry air moved in early Monday morning. Uh, temperatures today will react accordingly. We have highs in the upper 60s later today, well below average by about 10 degrees. Northwest winds at about 10 to 20, adding a bit of a chill in the air with that breeze coming in. Foothills, similar numbers, highs only in the mid 60s today, 66 in Mount Airy to North Wilkesboro. Uh, northwest winds also at about 10 to 20 miles per hour, especially early on. And 50s for the mountains, that's it. Uh, northwest winds also could gust up to about 30 miles per hour today, so certainly a chill in the air. So it will be cool at tonight's Grasshoppers game. They're taking on the Delmarva Shorebirds back in town. First game since their road trip. Temperatures in the later innings will likely quickly cool into the 50s, so something to plan for. And it stays cool tonight, too. We'll see those temperatures uh, overnight uh, drop from the upper 60s this afternoon through the 50s this evening, all the way down to the mid 40s for early tomorrow morning. The caveat is we're going to start to bring back a southwest wind tomorrow, and that should just take us into the lower 70s. So a couple of really nice days before high temperatures return. We're nearing 80 by Thursday, well into the 80s starting Friday. We don't have much rain at all. In your seven day forecast will start to bring in a small chance for a passing shower early next week.